the Game Boy game of the week is Tetris Plus. I had no idea this game even existed until a couple of years ago. I decided to pick it up because I thought it'd be fun to have all of the versions of Tetris that were released for the original Game Boy. So this game includes two modes of gameplay. Uh, the first is just classic Tetris mode, and it's pretty hard to go wrong with Tetris. <laughs> I even had a, oh man, back in the 90s I had a Tetris on a little LCD watch that I used to carry around with me everywhere, and oh my gosh, I played that thing to death. That was so fun. So yeah, Tetris. I uh, can't really go wrong with that. The second mode is the uh, unique new, ge uh, new uh, gameplay mode for this version of the game, which is a little guy walking around on the Tetris blocks. Yeah, it really surprised me at first. So the idea is that uh, this little professor explorer guy is exploring like some ancient ruins and blocks are falling down and you need to try to clear the blocks to help him escape before he gets crushed by some spikes from above. It was kind of bizarre at first uh, and did turn me off, but it did, the, the gimmick did grow on me once I started getting used to it. And honestly, I had a hard time putting it down. Uh, one of the problems with this gameplay mode is that you're trying to clear a level, but a lot of the ability to clear a level is based on luck, which means it's not really in the player's control. And so when I'm when I lose a level, when I'm playing the game and I end up dying, uh, anytime it doesn't feel like that game over was earned, like it wasn't my fault, it's going to be frustrating. Anytime a player loses, it should they should feel like uh, it was their fault. They know what they did wrong. Uh, they want to get back in and and try again and do differently. That's a little tricky with games like Tetris because of the randomness and because of the nature of this game where you're trying to get the little guy to the bottom of the screen, it can be kind of frustrating. But even so, every time I did get a game over, I just wanted to try again. Uh, the graphics are, are, are clean, they're easy to see, and they look good. Uh, I wish they did more. I wish there was uh, some images in the background behind the pieces to make it look more themed. Just anything to add some, I don't know, flavor to the game. It is, it is pretty basic looking. Uh, there's some cute animation. Anytime you beat a level, the little professor guy gives a big, <laughs> comically oversized victory sign before moving on to the next stage. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's a, it's a pretty pretty basic uh, implementation. One thing that super duper surprised me is the music in this game is is good, but the surprising part was that there appears to be only two songs in the whole game, uh, which I don't understand. Like I kept I kept looking through menus, like trying to find a place where I could change the background music. But yeah, I guess there's two songs in the game. One for mode, one for uh, classic Tetris mode, and one for the professor mode. Uh, but once again, the songs were okay, so it didn't bother me too much. It just really surprised me. <laughs> so one of the issues with making a game like this is the gameplay hinges on the idea that the player wants to help the little professor guy, help the little guy escape. If you don't want to, if you don't care about him, if you don't want him to escape, then what are we even doing here? <laughs> and uh, I did want to help him to escape. But the problem is, he's got artificial intelligence. He's got a little AI in there where he'll walk back and forth on the pieces. He'll he'll fall down in gaps between pieces. He'll climb up on pieces. And sometimes he'll climb up to his death. Sometimes he'll walk places I don't want him to go. And there were so many times where I was screaming at my Game Boy. Like, you idiot! Don't you dare climb up there! Gah! What are you doing? And then he'd, you know, kill himself. And I hate him. I hate the professor so much. <sighs> I, uh, yeah. So, it's a it's a delicate balance <laughs> of uh, wanting to help him but also hating him. <sighs> I don't think they could have done better. It's just the underlying underlying issue with this type of gameplay mechanic, uh, which I thought was kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, overall. Um, this game surprised me. I didn't like it at first, but it really grew on me, and I did want to keep playing it and playing it. It was hard to put down. Uh, the new gameplay mechanic is feels kind of gimmicky and looks kind of weird at first, but yeah, it grew on me. I'd say if you're looking for a new Tetris-style action puzzle game, then this game would be a fine game to pick up and play. Uh, there are other action puzzle games like Tetris, uh, you know, in the Tetris style of games that uh, I do think are more fun and would be a, a better pickup. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, it's pretty good. Worth checking out. Also, I hate that guy so much.